today I have a photo shoot in Haptong in Seoul and um, I'm filming with a black and white photographer so the colors that I'm using in this look is entirely for your pleasure only the photo shoot is supposed to have a vintage Vogue style so my inspiration was Audrey Hepburn for the makeup with a clean face I'm prepping my skin with skincare first this brand I've talked about before is called Slow Me and they focus on entirely natural products. They produce these products with a method that mixes traditional oriental methods with modern technology, which optimizes the result of this product. The slogan is slowly but surely and they really emphasize how you should take care of your skin all of your life instead of relying on instant product results. I'm using the essence first and moving on to cream afterwards. For foundation I'm using a Momonte cushion. I usually switch out my foundations pretty often and um, these days I'm very much a fan of the cushion foundations. This one has good moisture and that's why I use it. Same counts for concealer, it's a regular thing that I'm switching out the concealer and right now I'm using the Epure Moist Concealer. Same applies to that, it's because it's super moisturizing and it just feels great on my skin when it's drier in the weather. I'm setting all of the makeup with powder. This powder is still gonna have a dewy finish when I'm done doing it and that's what I really like because it looks so fresh and natural when you're done with your makeup. Audrey Hepburn's brows are really strong and very very dark. My brows are a lot straighter than hers but my point is not to look like Audrey, it's just to get inspired by it. So I'm filling out the gaps that I have underneath my eyebrows to make them straight with a smaller eyebrow pencil and then I'm moving on with a bigger pencil in a lighter color just to color the behind shadows of the brows. Lastly, I'm blending it out towards the center of the eyebrows. In order to get a fuller and more warm look, I am trying to make my eyes a little bit darker with some grey circle lenses. These lenses are from Olens. I am trying to make my face look a little bit older by contouring my nose as well. This gives me more sharp edges which will make my face look a little bit older than what it is. For the base color, I decided to put on a little bit of color just for the sake of the look. It's not gonna show up on the camera, but I thought this is just such a beautiful color. It's a coral color from the Pony Orange palette and I'm just applying it with the finger for a natural and even spread layer. The key point of these looks are usually on the upper eyelash and that means that we're gonna emphasis with dark color that's gonna elongate the eye but we're gonna keep the under eye clear. I'm doing this by firstly applying a dark shadow and blending it out and afterwards taking a eyeliner and lining the eye. This eyeliner is from Tong Semul and she's a really really famous um, makeup artist here in Korea. If you haven't checked out her products yet, I really recommend them. I'm applying little by little and slowly thickening the eyeliner. It's best to do this slowly and controlled because it's really hard to erase if you made a mistake. For even more smoke, I'm gonna blend out the edge of the eyeliner a little bit with a brush and some dark eyeshadow. If it gets too light, you can always go in with the eyeliner again afterwards. To open up the eye, I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes and then I'm bringing out my nose by highlighting the tip of the nose and my cheekbones as well. 
When you apply mascara, you should focus on the upper eyelashes and especially on the upper outer eyelashes. This is gonna elongate the eye even more. And if you have an eyelash curler, I really recommend to use that as well. Staying in the peach tones, I'm going to apply a peach blush on the cheeks, just for a healthier look. I'm going with a darker and a little bit more full lip today. I'm using two different lipsticks and the first one is a red lipstick that's a little bit more on the pinkish red side from Dear Dahlia. I'm applying this to the inner corners and blending it out with my fingers for a natural edge. I thought this came out a little bit too pink on my lips, so I applied a more orange tone liquid lipstick on the inner corners of my lips, also from Dear Dahlia. So this is the finished look of my attempt to mimic Audrey Hepburn's makeup. So until we see each other next time, have a good one. Bye!